You know, life was easier as a kid. Before the weight of the world was on your shoulders, I don't know about you, but my toys were fun. They didn't sit on the shelf in the package. They got played with a lot. My name's Doug, and I miss my toys. A new hope for a fantastic sequel is upon us. I want to celebrate this milestone with a look back at the Star Wars toys from my childhood. I was pretty young in 1977 when the first movie came out. My first Star Wars in theaters would not be until Empire Strikes Back in 1980, when I was six. The Force was strong in our house before that, however. My sister was old enough to see that first movie in theaters and began to collect the figures. After seeing Empire Strikes Back, I also got some figures but my guys were mostly the also-rans. While my sister got the really cool stuff, I had a couple of cool guys and a lot of second-rate dudes. So anyway, let's take a look at some of these figures from way back in the day. Let's lead off with a classic. This one belonged to my sister. This is everybody's favorite Wookiee, Chewbacca. Everybody knows who Chewbacca is. Um, it's kind of cool with the detail here on him. You can see on his... Uh, on his figure here that all the fur is actually part of the plastic mold and uh, so is his uh, so is his bandolier and his side pouch uh, we don't have the gun anymore I don't know what happened to that but he did have a cool unique weapon um, that was was just his and uh, I wish we still had that but I have no idea where that is all right now let's look at one of my guys um, this is walrus man anyway he looks like a walrus he's even got the web feet and uh, there's really not much else to tell about him. Let's look at another one of my sister's figures. This is Obi-Wan Kenobi, or Alec Guinness. Let's take a look at his face here and see how the likeness is. Uh, it's not too bad, um, other than his eyes looking kind of like black holes. It's actually a pretty decent likeness of him. Uh, he's got the telescoping lightsaber, most of them actually had little tabs on the end of them that extended the lightsaber, but they were such flimsy pieces of plastic over the years, they have all broken off. We don't have anybody with uh, that little plastic piece anymore. They're all just nubs now, but at least the swords still work, and uh, I think they still look okay like this. This Obi-Wan Kenobi's got white hair. There was also a gray-haired one, so there was uh, Ben Kenobi the gray and Ben Kenobi the white and a Jedi always arrives precisely when he means to. And now, from my collection, Vespin Guard with long mustache. You can see here, he's got the big Fu Manchu stash going. Uh, there was another guy with a short mustache. Uh, I had the long mustache, Vespin Guard. I don't know why they made two of these things, but uh, there's another one of my figures. Okay, this is another one of my sister's figures and probably one of the coolest ones that we had. This is a Yoda, an original Yoda with the orange snake. And uh, we still have all the accessories for him. Uh, he's still got the cane, he's still got the, uh, the snake, and he's still got the belt and his cloth robe and everything. Uh, this was a really cool figure. How we managed to keep him together over all the years is beyond me, but we actually do have all of his pieces still intact. Yoda with all the accessories, with the original orange snake. This is another one of my guys. This is a power droid. Um, I remember playing with this thing a lot too, although it's just a little box with feet. Uh, the feet click like that because you can uh, kind of put them in positions, but the only posable thing for this guy is like this, pretty much. <laughs> so <laughs> it's not very flexible. Um, but anyway, that's, uh, that's the power droid. And now for my next figure, Snaggletooth. Um, this little guy here was another one of my figures. I uh, don't know how or why I got him, but uh, here he is um, with his red outfit and uh, funky black belt and everything. There's really not much else to tell about him. <laughs> the next guy here is Hammerhead. This was also mine. Um, I liked this figure. I played with him a lot, and as a result, his joints are really loose. You can see his head uh, is kind of swelling, doing the exorcist thing because it doesn't stay in one place anymore. Um, but uh, he was an interesting looking guy. 
and uh, one of the my favorites of the guys that I had. <laughs> this guy belonged to my sister. This is a uh, Tuscan Raider, the sand person. And uh, you can see here, I don't have his big rifle anymore, but uh, we do still have the vinyl keep for him. And uh, he's got some pretty cool details in his face and everything too, if you look at it. Kind of neat the way some of these guys were made because they really look uh, like they're supposed to. This uh, is one of my more prominent figures. This is Greedo. Um, I liked this guy too. He's got some googly eyes, as you can see, if you look close at his face. And uh, I used to play with this one a lot as well. This is one of the figures I had where people actually know who he is. And by the way, despite what recent releases show, he didn't shoot first. This little Jawa belonged to my sister. He's even got the little cloth robe still. I managed to keep that after all these years. Uh, you can even look through here at his little head and you can see his yellow eyes and everything. When uh, he doesn't have the hood on, it's a little easier to see. We only had one of these guys. And this is another one of my guys, uh, Lando Calrissian. Uh, everybody knows who he is, uh, Billy D. Williams, of course. And as you can see, it's not a bad likeness of Billy D. Uh, looks pretty decent. I have the one that is not smiling. There's another version that does smile. You can see also that he's got the vinyl cape, although it's scuffed up. Uh, he still has the vinyl cape. This is everybody's favorite little droid, R2-D2. He's still intact. His stickers are a little worn off and a little torn, but uh, he's still here. You can still turn his head. It clicks there to kind of hold it in place. And uh, it's got this really cool chrome look on the top, painted with uh, the blue. I always liked that. I thought it looked really neat. And you can see here he's got stickers around the backside too. This is everybody's other favorite droid. This is C-3PO. You can see he was made of some really cool gold plastic um, that was shiny and everything. Um, he is still shiny. He hasn't dulled over the years, which is nice. You can really uh, make out his, his face and the, the different parts around his body. Um, did a really good job with this one, I think. Um, he's pretty impressive looking as far as the detail goes. This is the princess, Her Royal Highness, Princess Leia. Um, she uh, does not have the white cape anymore. I don't know what happened to that, but she comes with a vinyl white cape as well. But you can see uh, she, eh, she kind of looks like Carrie Fisher. Not really. And of course, you've got the hard plastic buns on the side uh, of her head for the hair. This is her man and everybody's favorite rebel, Han Solo. Uh, I don't think this looks very much like Harrison Ford. But, uh, you know, it was pretty cool. There were actually two different ones of these, too. Uh, we had the Han Solo with the small head. Uh, there was also a Han Solo with a big head. And I suppose after uh, saving the galaxy and everything, uh, you could get a big head. Okay, this is everybody's favorite villain, the man you love to hate, Darth Vader. Um, this figure was really cool. All in black, black vinyl cape. Uh, you can see here that he's got pretty cool detail on his body. And I'm gonna push this sword back in here, the lightsaber. Um, the little nubbin you can see there on the top, that's where it used to be, uh, the, the telescoping thing that I had mentioned before. But uh, the detail here is pretty cool. You can see the lines in his suit and the little computer stuff in the, on his chest and uh, good detail on his helmet too. And here I've saved him for last. This is our hero, Luke. And uh, we've got the original blonde Luke here with uh, the telescoping lightsaber again. Um, he's still all in one piece, thankfully. And uh, I don't think he looks that much like Mark Hamill. He kind of does. You can see some of the detail around around him too. Um, they didn't put clothes on him. They just molded the, the uh, clothes to his body. But uh, you can still even see some of the folds and you can see his belt around and everything, and they just made that part of the figure. Unfortunately, there were a couple of guys who didn't make it to the party because they're missing in action. Uh, aside from the random guns and other accessories that are missing, uh, I'm also missing one of the coolest figures I ever had, my Boba Fett. I don't know what happened to him. I haven't seen him in years. And we're also missing another piece that my sister had, which was the Patrol Dewback which was this cool lizard thing that had a trapdoor on the top and you could actually stick the guys in it to make it look like they were riding them. Well, that's my trip down memory lane with Star Wars. 
I hope you enjoyed revisiting these figures as much as I did. We'll see you next time. May the force be with you.